Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Brave web browser has received a major version upgrade, which started rolling out on the 1st of December. So if you are using the Brave web browser and you would like to double check if you have this update, just head to your menu as always about Brave. And the latest version and build now after the update has been applied will be 1.46.133 for the browser. That's the latest stable release. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, has also received a major version upgrade to 108.0.5359.71. Now, if we click on the version, this will take us to the release notes. And just to make a quick mention here at first is that the Brave Wallet, once again, has received numerous add-ons, improvements and updates, too many to actually mention in this video. So if you are using the Brave Wallet and would like to find out a little bit more regarding the updates to the wallet, um, you can just head over to uh, the release notes and yeah, you can check up a little bit more regarding updates and improvements to the Brave Wallet if you are interested because the Brave Wallet seems to be getting fixes and improvements basically in every update to the Brave web browser. Now just to focus on a couple of the key highlights for the purpose of this video which I think maybe most of you would be interested in. Um, if we just head to the Brave Rewards. Um, Brave Rewards is not available in my region. Um, it used to be when Brave did roll out at first and over the last couple of months they've removed my region and a couple of other regions around the world from Brave Rewards but um, now after this up update um, once you uh, restart your browser um, they will ask you now to select your country for Brave Rewards so they've added the country selection requirement for Brave Rewards and then um, if we just head to the um, new tab page which we are currently on and we head to the customize uh, menu yeah they've added support for multiple custom background images under the new tab page so if you are uploading your own images from your device then there's support now for multiple uh, background images and uh, um, sticking on the new tab page with brave news they've added spain mexico and brazil content feed support for brave news so if you are in those regions and using the brave browser that's been added now and then um, regarding Brave News, as you can see, they've updated uh, the user interface for Brave News. So they've updated customization, uh, the user interface for Brave News. And they've also updated Brave News source suggestions. So that's a couple of improvements for the Brave News on the new tab page. And then a couple of other improvements, if we just head to the settings and a couple of other changes, if we just head back to the settings. On the Get Started page, um, yeah, you can see my Brave is already pinned to my taskbar. But they've added pin to taskbar the option now after your first run, um, on the first run dialog after you've installed um, the Brave web browser or upgraded the Brave web browser. If you haven't already pinned it to your taskbar um, on Windows, um, yeah, you will see a um, pin to taskbar option. And also if you are using the browser on Mac OS, you'll also get the option keep in dock. So those are two um, add-ons there for pinning the browser to the taskbar and to the dock on Windows and Mac OS. And um, if we just head over to the appearance page, yeah, you will see for the sidebar, if we just scroll down here and the side panel, basically uh, the side panel, so let's just click on that. Um, you can show that on the left and you can show that on the right. And that's actually a feature that Google is testing uh, in the Canary version of the Google Chrome web browser for desktop. So it seems that Brave has rolled that out before Google where their side panel now and their sidebar can be shown to the right or to the left. It first rolled out to the left and now you have the option to show that to the right. So that might be handy just to give you a couple of extra customization options. And then um, just heading down here a little bit more in the release notes. Um, if you are using the private browsing with Tor, let's just X out of that. Um, new private window with Tor. They've enabled HTTPS only mode for a private windows with Tor. So that's just a bit of a more secure way of surfing the web and browsing online. HTTPS only mode now available for private windows with Tor. And then... Just to do a couple of quick mentions, and um, there are 14 bug fixes that have rolled out for the actual browser. So if you are using Brave um, on desktop, just 
and you've experienced some issues with the browser or maybe some glitches or stability issues, just double check uh, that your browser is up to date because um, there are 14 bug fixes included which could address possible issues in the browser if you have been affected. And now the big one here is they've upgraded um, the browser to Chromium version 108 which is the um, latest release for the Chromium platform. And that Chromium update has included 28 security fixes. So this is a very important security fix for the Brave web browser. And um, out of those 28 vulnerabilities that have been addressed, there are eight high severity flaws that have been patched. And your high severity flaws are your second highest after a critical. So very important to double check that you have this latest update for the Brave, uh, the Brave web browser. If you are using Brave, as 28 vulnerabilities have been fixed, eight of those high risk. So that's more or less what's new in the Brave web browser for desktop. And that's version 1.46 now, which is the latest version for desktop. And that's also Chromium version 108, which is the latest release for the Chromium platform. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.